Hello friends, welcome back. Now we are going to discuss how to set up Hadoop environment. Hadoop is having different distribution and we are going to use Cloudera for our learning journey. Cloudera has provided Cloudera Quick Start VM that is the simulation environment and working in pseudo distributed mode. It is the best for learning perspective. In order to have Cloudera Quick Start VM, there are certain requirements. Let's go through with the requirements. So first requirement is with respect to hardware friends. If you want to have Cloudera Quick Start VM in your machine, you need to have at least 8 GB of RAM. But if you want better performance, then 16 GB RAM is recommended. Now second thing is with respect to the disk requirement, at least 50 GB of the disk space should be there onto the disk if you want to use Cloudera Quick Start VM in your machine. Then you need to have a virtualization software and we are going to use VirtualBox in our case and in order to download the VirtualBox you can refer this particular thread you just need to click on to this particular thread when one window will be open and you need to choose with respect to your operating system and then download the virtual box for your machine the third requirement that we need to have you need to have the image for cloudera quick start vm and i have mentioned a thread from this particular thread you will be able to download the image for cloudera quick start vm if we are having all of these particular things then we are good to go for the installation step let me click and just give you an insight how you will be able to see so once you click on to the www.virtualbox.com the thread that i have given so this particular window will open and you just need to choose the the virtual box with respect to your operating system you if you are having windows machine you need to choose the windows host if you are having the mac then you can choose the mac host then uh for the cloudera quick start vm we have uploaded it onto a google drive and we have given the link for the google drive you just need to request the access and it will come to us we will approve it and you will be having that particular cloud or a quick start vm image now i have downloaded both of these two software and these two softwares are in my machine uh, virtual box uh, i'm hovering on to the virtual box at this moment and over here the cloud or a quick start vm is there okay so once we are having these two software in our machine then what we need to do we just need to click first install the virtual box okay and you just need to click next and next and next okay and proceed with the installation yes okay as this particular software is already in my machine so i'm going to cancel it in your case you just need to proceed with the installation and you will be having cloud uh, virtual box in your machine once you are having virtual box in your machine you just need to open it so let me open the virtual box so it will look like this uh, oracle vm virtual box manager okay now what you need to do the file the software which you have downloaded that is around 5.5 gb of file if you are uh, able to see i'm hovering over it so it is of 5.54 gb size huh? now uh, what you need to do it this particular you can see folder is having two files cloud or a quick start vm virtual box and disk one so what you need to do you need to import uh, this cloud era quick start vm into the virtual box now you need to just click on to the file okay then import appliances then you just need to click on to the file uh, the folder option which is mentioned over here and you just need to choose the path where you have downloaded cloud or quick start vm 
okay so over here cloudera quick start vm is there you just need to check this particular file okay and then you need to click on next okay so click next now it will ask a certain configuration now so if you are having you can say four cpu in your machine then what i'm recommending you just need to mention two cpu and if you are having 16 gb of the ram so 8 gb ram uh, dedicatedly you can give over here say i'm going to give it 900 m 9000 mb once you do this particular configuration setting then then you just need to import and the import will be done and you will be having cloudera quick start vm so i am already having this cloudera quick start vm in my machine okay once you uh, import uh, and then proceed with the settings then it will look like this uh, what you need to do you just need to click on it and then go into the start So it will take couple of minutes in order to start in your case uh, it will probably take uh, three to four minute and it will be started huh? just wait for few minutes and I will show you how it will open in your machine so I have paused the recording because like uh, what I said uh, it is going to take five to uh, six minute so now the cloudera quick start vm uh, has been open and you will be able to see this particular screen in your laptop so that's it in order to have the installation if i want to conclude uh, how to do this particular uh, setup cloudera quick start vm setup or hadoop environment setup in your machine so there are four steps only Four steps like you need to install, you need to have the virtual box in your machines, then you need to have Cloudera Quick Start VM image. Okay, once you are having both of these two software, then you need to import the Cloudera Quick Start VM into the virtual box, and this is the this is how you this is how you can import the Cloudera Quick Start VM into the virtual box then you need to do the configuration setting and what i have mentioned at least you need to give two core 8 gb of the ram and then you will be able to use cloudware quick start vm and once you have done this particular setting it will take a couple of minutes in order to configure and then you need to just click start and you will be able to see cloudware quick start vm so that's it with respect to the installation uh, of Cloudera Quick Start VM onto the top of VirtualBox or setting up the Hadoop environment in your machine. If you are having any confusion, you can you can uh, comment and you can share your feedback as well. Thank you, friend. Have a good day.